what is up bro gamers welcome to honduras the votes are in and more people voted for the honduras let's play than the no the new roman empire and federation campaign in the last part i don't remember what part it was but i finished and take and took out the last central american country i think which was panama after i'm after i dealt with them i was going to focus my attacks on mexico by the way mexico is an ally of mine and so is Colombia and Venezuela. Just the only reason why I made alliances with Colombia and Venezuela, again, if you guys don't remember, is because I didn't want none of these South American nations to attack. And I am not going to head into South America, by the way. I'm just going to keep it around, you know, the Caribbean, uh, North America, etc., etc. But as for Mexico, I will be taking them out, even though they're my ally. And the same goes for the uh, Caribbean nations. Cuba already declared war on me uh, recently, actually, as you can see off video. Uh, I've got my units already all repaired and ready. I've got a bunch of naval units around the Car not yeah the Caribbean and the Pacific. As for the air units, I'll be using them. Yeah, I'll be using them against uh, what is it, the capital of Mexico City once I get to that area. So that is my goal for today, just to get into uh, Mexico for a bit. Again, I'll be taking on Mexico, and then as for the uh, the U.S. states. Again, this is the uh, divided planet mod. I will not be heading into the states. I will not be doing that. I'm just going to, you know, take on Mexico and the rest of the Caribbean. And that is about it. That's the whole goal of this Let's Play. And another special announcement that I have, actually. Uh, Gameforge, a gaming company in Germany, has given me a coupon code to play one of the newest games that they will be releasing on February 15th on Steam. And it is Drop Zone, a RTS MOBA style game actually and uh, they have given permission uh, yeah they've given me permission to upload a few gameplay videos of their newest game on my channel at World Gaming so you know what I'm really excited about this guys and I can't wait to show you what they have to offer on this newest game that they're making or they just made released or about to release I guess you can say I'm getting my words mixed up here but Drop Zone is gonna come to my channel as promised you know more games to be played on my channel and since you know they've contacted me to do a video on their newest game I'm gonna be playing drop zone and uploading that to my channel I might I think I might have to email them and see if uh, I'm allowed to upload a video before February 5th, February 15th or after or during February 15th because the game releases on February 15th and I'm just gonna make sure if I'm allowed to upload a video before February 15th. And if I do upload a video for Drop Zone, it'll be next Monday, just to let you guys know. If not, next Wednesday, nah, next Wednesday when the uh, game releases on Steam and it goes live and whatnot on Twitch, YouTube, etc., etc. So I'm really excited about that, guys. Going to show you guys a new game and hopefully everyone will love it. I know I will. I'm excited for it. This is the first time, you know, a gaming company is telling me to try one of their uh, newest games. So I can't wait to do it. I forgot who developed the game. But, you know, Gameforge, again, contacted me and said, you know, to try out, the, try out one of their newest games that they're about to release. So, again, expect that either next Monday or next Wednesday, guys. Can't wait. Oh, that's right. Let's get out of the borders of Mexico. I don't want my units to be in there. All right, here we go. Now that I got that out of my system. Wow. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> I didn't know I had air units over there in Mexico still. Let's get them out. I've got roughly 180 land units right now. I'm really not too worried about Mexico, to be honest. There's no reason to be, except for their garrisons around their cities. They've got seven all around these towns and whatnot increase spending blah 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 all right i'll do that the un opinion approval rating has dropped to eight percent if we don't take steps to improve immediately we could be faced cancellation of our membership we're good our membership is still good let's go to devcon number one yeah devcon one real quick there you go After I'm done with Mexico, I'm going to have to build a bunch of transportation ships just so I can transfer my units 
to the uh, Caribbean nations, Cuba, Jamaica, the Bahamas, etc., etc. Cuba's going to be a pain. So is the Dominican Republic, probably. Puerto Rico. Eh, I've never taken Puerto Rico out ever. Well, that's because they're independent in this mod. They're usually, you know, a part of the United States as a uh, territory. But I'm going to have to take out Puerto Rico for the first time once I do reach that nation. And then the Caribbean Isles, piece of cake. Bahamas, same thing. Easy money for the garrisons. All right, now Mexico is sending in some of the uh, some of their engineers down here. Oh yeah, uh, Overwatch. I don't know about you guys. I mean, a lot of people have already played Overwatch or know about Overwatch, but I'm probably gonna stream Overwatch next week and unbox 40. <laughs> yes. 40 loot boxes. I have saved up the loot boxes whenever I rank up or get something special out of the uh, Chinese New Year's or during the uh, Christmas winter sale uh, special that went on. And I have a total of 40 loot boxes ready to be opened. I've only opened about around four to five of them. But that was when I started playing Overwatch when I did buy it. But other than that, I've saved the loot boxes for Overwatch. And I've got 40 of them. And counting. That's right, and counting. So I'm excited to unbox those loot boxes finally. You know, it's not the same as the uh, CSGO, you know, cases. You know, unboxing the CSGO cases when you get a knife or whatnot, all that hype. But... You know what? 40 loot boxes for Overwatch. I love Overwatch. Who doesn't? Can't wait to stream that next week on tr uh, Twitch. Again, if you haven't followed me on Twitch, link below at WG. What the heck is going on? Why are they destroying my units? Well, they're probably the obsolete units. So I would guess for that really doesn't matter. Whatever. We're just making some progress here right now, guys. That's all that matters. And also, congrats to one of my comrades, my compadres, and fellow Supreme Ruler player, Infinitum Gamer. By the way, guys, check out his channel. There's a link below as well. Another Supreme Ruler player just like me. There's only a few of us that do and upload Supreme Ruler videos, and he's one of them. One of the more bigger ones, actually, sort of. Uh, he just surpassed and achieved 2,000 subscribers or give... Your, your congrats to him, guys, on achieving 2K subscribers on his channel, finally. Of course, that is also a goal of mine. I recently just achieved 1K subscribers about 2 months ago in December. So now, you know, let's see if a World Gaming can get to 2,000 subscribers. But again, congrats to him. He definitely deserves it. Long time Supreme World player as well, just like me. Alright. So, I'm just waiting for supplies right now as well. Just let you guys know, supplies are pretty bad for Honduras. And I'm thinking about changing the title of the name of this Let's Play from the uh, the old one, which was Culture, which stood for Kingdom of Central Honduran Republic. I forgot who made up that name, but I'm thinking about changing the uh, title of the Let's Play just to just simply Honduras or Honduran Kingdom, something like that. But, you know... Culture, that's just, I don't know, it's too long and I just, uh, it sounds weird to me. I might just sit, uh, switch it to simply Honduras. Besides, a lot of people won't even know what culture even means until I say it to them. What the hell is culture? Oh, it's King of Central Honduran, no. Kingdom of Central Honduran Republic. <laughs> yeah, I might just definitely switch it just to simply Honduras oh whatever get the gist all right so we got oh okay no garrisons in these villages except for Salina Cruz three garrisons in their naval base then we got to take the main road up north Oaxa and then take out hundreds of towns and villages not villages but hundreds of towns and cities that are surrounding Mexico City 
If I don't do that, then my units will probably get destroyed. And I think I might need additional units once I reach Mexico City. I mean, it's a piece of cake just trying to, you know, take out these small villages and destroying these units one by one when they're coming to my area. But once I reach, you know, their fortified capital city, then I think I might have to build additional units because I'm definitely going to be losing a lot of units since it's, uh, what is it? Very uh, well defended. And their capital city is just, you know, clustered in between their fabrications and Natswala Koyotol. Wow, okay. What a tongue twister. Natswala Koyotol Colts. I think that's how I pronounce that. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but you know, that sounds, you know, proper, right? Natswala Koyotol. Okay, whatever. Ah. Uh, Slapping my ass off right now, guys. Having a bit of fun. But, uh, what is it? Tomorrow's Saturday, so no Left 4 Dead 2 again, by the way. Uh, I don't think that's coming out too well. And most of my friends are finding it kind of boring now. So am I. So, uh, Left 4 Dead 2 might be discontinued, maybe, but we'll see. If we do get back together, then we'll, I'll definitely make another video for Left 4 Dead 2. But for now, not feeling it. Oh, that's right. I'm taking the a wrong road. I'm going to have to go through a wax of the Juarez. Juarez. And then we got to go to Morales here. Yeah, Juarez. I'm not going to be adding garrisons as well in these villages or bases that I take. There's no need to. They don't have nothing, no engineers. But if Austin or the Southwestern Republic do declare war, once I'm done taking out Mexico, then I will not retaliate against both of them. Again, that is not my uh, goal here. Actually, once I do take uh, Mexico City, everyone should know that they're going to take a huge chunk of northern northern Mexico since they're at war against Mexico as well. So, you know, expect that as well. Austin might take this whole area of Mexico and then the Southwestern Republic will definitely be taking all of ba Baja, California, and this side of northern Mexico as well. So, you know, expect that as well while I take, you know, central and southern Mexico around Cancun. Uh, no big deal. As long as I take, you know oil gas fields and I'm good I'm happy about that but again just a reminder I'll be uploading a new game next week and that's gonna be drop zone which will be released on February 15th and I want to thank the people over there at GameForge for contacting me you know and letting me play one of their newest games that uh, that's about to come out so thanks for that can't wait to play it can't wait to show you guys, the Double Gamers, on what Drop Zone has to offer. And probably even more games if I do, you know, make more videos for their uh, for their games actually over there. So, you know, I can't wait. But I think this is where I'll stop this part of Honduras. As always, Double Gamers, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. And remember to follow me on Twitch as well.